Its original location was one block up on San Martin Street. Commonly referred to as the House of Stone, it was well known for being one of the first buildings that replaced wood in order to avoid structure fires. You'll see a little church. Built in 1894 by Salesian missionaries, it is Ushuaia's first Catholic church. Fue construida en 1884 por los misioneros salesianos. Se cuenta que un preso se escapó y se escondió en el campanario. Tardaron casi una semana en encontrarlo y lo descubrieron porque se tomaba el vino de la capilla. Legend has it that a prisoner once escaped and hid himself in the church bell tower. After nearly a week of searching, the fugitive was finally discovered because he drank all the communion wine. Y 
En la próxima esquina, la Casa Blanca de Techo Celeste es la casa de Lucinda Otero, una de nuestras más queridas escritoras. On the next corner, the White House with the light blue roof was once the home of Lucinda Otero, one of Ushuaia's most beloved writers. Todas las vísperas del 2 de abril, todo el pueblo de Ushuaia se reúne a pasar la noche entera alrededor del monumento en homenaje a los que perdieron su vida en esa guerra. Every year, on the 2nd of April, the people of Ushuaia gathered together to spend the night around the monument in honor of those that lost their lives in this war. and most luxurious building in the city. It was built by a Croatian immigrant named Fortunato Beben, who ordered the disassembled home from a Swedish catalog and built it as a wedding present for his son. El casamiento duró una semana entera con comida y bebida sin interrupción y cuentan que se desplegó una alfombra roja desde la iglesia hasta la casa. The wedding celebrations lasted an entire week with non-stop drinking and feasting and it is even said that a red carpet extended from the church to the house. To our left is Ushuaia's first sports complex. the large yellow building which houses the Austral Scientific Research Center. Allí hay decenas de científicos realizando estudios sobre la zona, ya que la Tierra del Fuego tiene muchas particularidades diferentes al resto de la Argentina. Una de ellas, no tenemos hormigas. There, dozens of scientists conduct studies on the region. Tierra del Fuego is very different from the rest of Argentina and has many unique <laughs> characteristics. For example, we do not have ants.
It was opened in 2010, expanding on the areas of study offered by its predecessor, the San Juan Bosco University. Now, let's take a trip into the past, back to the year 1889. On our left, close to the coast, we will see a small house with a red roof. This building marks the spot where Ushuaia's first prison was located. En ese entonces era solo un presidio militar que funcionó antes de la construcción del edificio de la cárcel que todos conocen. At the time, it was only a military prison before the construction of the jail with which we are all familiar. It takes its name from the original use for the land it now stands on, the keeping of chickens. The neighborhood was built by the Provincial Housing Institute for Low Income Families. Es el único reconocido por su nombre, ya que los otros barrios construidos por ese mismo instituto llevan todos como nombre el número de viviendas con el que cuentan, ya que como por el tempestivo crecimiento que tuvo la población con la ley de promoción industrial de 1972, no había ni tiempo para bautizar los barrios que existían. Es el único neighborhood reconocido por un actual nombre, as all the other neighborhoods constructed by the institute are referred to simply by the number of houses they contain. It seems that, due to the rapid population, testigos de historias de navegantes y pioneros, pero fueron también en 1978 el escenario de un conflicto de límites entre Argentina y Chile. Over the centuries, the shores of the Eagle Channel have borne witness to the stories of sailors and pioneers, and in 1978 were also the scene of a boundary dispute between Argentina and Chile. Ambos países que estaban gobernados por dictaduras militares se entrelazaron en un conflicto bélico que felizmente no llegó a las armas. Una guerra que se evitó en las vísperas de la Navidad del 78 gracias al diferendo papal. Both countries, which at the time were both governed by military dictatorships, were intertwined in a conflict that fortunately never came to arms. In fact, it was on Christmas Eve, 1978, thanks to papal intervention,
Oh, it's very cold, chill outside. It's freezing to the bones. It's a beautiful, it's beautiful. I am doing a, a city tour here. Uh, it's about it's about an hour and a half, but it's freezing cold. It's freezing. It's a beautiful view. Go up the hill. So this is the first stop. It's in Ushawai. Soil incapable of supporting neither crops nor construction. La turba, que es el material que se obtiene de esos predios, se usa como combustible y últimamente se descubrió su uso como material esponjoso que arrojado al mar absorbe los derrames de petróleo. The turf, which is the material obtained from these peat bogs, is used as fuel and has recently been discovered as capable of absorbing oil from oil spills at sea. We go down to the most recently urbanized area of the city. A mere 10 or 12 years ago, this area was nothing more than an empty field. We now cross the river Pipo, which takes its name from the prisoner who tried to escape by throwing himself into the river from the passing convict train.
In front of us, we can see a short, round mountain, distinct from its neighbors. This mountain is called Mount Susanna. The locals say that if you look at this mountain, you will be able to tell what the weather will be like in the next hour. en su intersección con calle 12 de octubre era por donde los presos entraban al bosque para ir a cortar leña. We are now driving along LM Street. To our left, at the intersection of LM and 12th of October Street, is the path taken by the prisoners into the forest. Aún hoy se ve sendero donde hace no muchos años todavía se podían encontrar los restos de durmientes y clavos de las antiguas vías del tren. Up until just a few years ago, Railroad ties and spikes from the old railway could still be found there.
Seguimos el arroyo Buena Esperanza, que trae las aguas del deshielo del glaciar Martial. Atrás, en su cauce, se ubica la planta potabilizadora, ya que todo el agua que tomamos en Ushuaia viene del glaciar. Which brings the melt water of the Marshall Glacier to the sea. Upstream is the water treatment plant. In fact, all the water we drink here in Ushuaia comes from the glacier. A causa del calentamiento global, el glaciar Martial se está reduciendo. Se descubrió que en solo dos meses del 2005 perdió 70 centímetros de su capa de hielo permanente. Due to global climate change, the Marshall Glacier is receding. In fact, a study conducted in 2005 discovered that in a mere two months, the Marshall Glacier had lost 70 centimeters of its permanent ice layer. barrio de los italianos, llamado por ellos Vilacchio Vecchio, si bien hoy en día está bastante cambiado. De inmigrantes italianos para que construyan las casas para el personal de la base. Esos 619 italianos que llegan a un Ushuaia de tan solo 2.000 habitantes. En 1947, when the jail closed and the naval base was established, the government brought in a contingent of 619 Italian immigrants to construct the houses for the employees of the base. At the time of the arrival of these 619 Italian immigrants, Ushuaia was a city of only 2,000. Los italianos también construyeron su propio barrio, que es el que estamos transitando. Cuentan que en esa época formaban equipos que competían entre sí para ver quién hacía más rápido la casa. Una de ellas se llevó a hacer en solo un día. Italians also built their own neighborhood, which we are now passing through. It is said that the Italian construction teams competed with each other to see who could build houses the fastest, with one team even building an entire house in a single day. Ahead, on our right-hand side, we will see the facilities of the National Road Bureau. Ushuaia es la única ciudad argentina que está al otro lado de la cordillera de los Andes, por lo que Vialidad Nacional tuvo acá la difícil tarea de construir una ruta que cruzara la cordillera. Así fue como recién en 1956 la ruta número 3 une Ushuaia con el resto de la Argentina. Ushuaia is the only city in Argentina that is on the other side of the Andes Mountains. Thus, the National Road Bureau had here the difficult task of constructing a route crossing the mountains. De la orden que su jefe le daba continuamente y que en español significa agarre el balde. Fue entonces que agarre el balde, agarre el balde, derivó en Garibaldi. Interestingly, Garibaldi was not his real name, but rather a phonetic deformation of an order continuously given him by his boss, which was to pick up the pail. Said in Spanish, agarre a balde, and thus transformed through repetition into Garibaldi.
primer cementerio. Este tiene como particularidad estar al lado de un supermercado. The boat we see on the coast is the San Christopher, which arrived here in the 1940s to rescue the Montiserantes, another ship that had been stranded since the 1930s, just a few miles from here. The San Christopher vino en los años 40 a rescatar al buque Montiserantes, que había quedado parado desde 1930 a pocas millas de aquí. El Montiserantes era tan grande como el. And fate, as all the passengers and crew of the Cervantes were saved. In fact, after the Cervantes went down, the 1,500 shipwrecked passengers were all housed here in Ushuaia, a city that, at the time, numbered only 800 inhabitants. Some local families hosted more than 20 shipwrecked passengers in their homes. El Canal Beagle es descubierto recién en 1829, cuando el capitán inglés Robert Fitzroy lo descubre en un viaje de relevamiento cartográfico y le da el nombre de su barco, Beagle. The Beagle Channel was discovered in 1829 by the English captain Fitzroy and named after his ship, Beagle. Cuentan que Fitzroy, cuando llega, se encuentra con un grupo de nativos y les pregunta cómo se llaman. A lo que ellos le contestan, te que nunca. Por lo que el capitán le da ese nombre a esta tribu. Tuvieron que pasar 50 años para que nos demos cuenta que te que nunca quería decir, no te entiendo. The story goes that Captain Fitzroy, upon meeting a group of Aborigines, asked them for their name. When they responded, Tekanika, Fitzroy accorded this name to their tribe. Fifty years later, the correct meaning of the word Tekanika was finally discovered. It means, I don't understand. On the next corner, on our left, the antique white and yellow building is the museum of the end of the world. Este fue construido por los presos y en los primeros años ya funcionó como banco. 
The building was constructed by prisoners and in the early days of the city served as Ushuaia's first bank. Ahora, sobre la costa más adelante, vemos el muelle de la base naval. Further along the coast, we'll see the dock belonging to the naval base. A la derecha, en la entrada que baja hacia el muelle de la base, el monumento con forma de ola recuerda el naufragio del Fouquier, ocurrido el 22 de septiembre de 1949. To the right, next to the entrance to the dock, the wave-shaped monument commemorates the shipwreck of the Fournier on the 22nd of September, 1949. Hasta fines de los 50, la única comunicación que teníamos con el resto del país era la marítima. La base entonces, cumpliendo ese rol de comunicador marítimo, pierde dos de sus naves, el Fugné y el Guaraní, con irreparable pérdida de ambas tripulaciones. El monumento recuerda a las víctimas del Fugné. Until the end of the 1950s, the only communication we had with the rest of the country was via the sea. The Navy, in the course of carrying out its maritime communication duties, lost two ships, the Fournier and the Guarani, and with them, tragically, the totality of their two crews. This monument stands in commemoration of the victims of the Fournier. Nos acercamos al final de nuestro recorrido, esperando que hayan disfrutado de este viaje a través de la historia de nuestro pueblo. Ushuaia City Tour este es una grata estadía en nuestra ciudad. Muchas gracias. We have now reached the end of our tour. We hope you have enjoyed our journey through the past. Ushuaia City Tours wishes you a pleasant stay in our city. Thank you. It was a good tour, right? It was uh, an hour and a half and uh, took you to the city of Ushuaia. Uh, show you the history and uh, places that you can reach. So this is uh, Ushuaia. is a small uh, uh, town and uh, uh, it's a lot of history. <laughs> and it's uh, again, it's uh, summer, but it's freezing cold. So this is the uh, building, and then that's a city too. So I'm here. Uh, Bye.